PSA reloaded, man. It's your boy Three Letter Man. Subscribe to the channel, man. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Where to follow your boy at, man? Y'all see the title of this blog, man? Let's talk about it, man. We are talking. Shout out to Hitman Holla, man. Shout out to Hitman Holla, man. Shout out to Hitman Holla. Bags and bodies. Please subscribe, man, to Coastal Rain TV. I'm pretty sure um, if you haven't already, I have, obviously. That's what I'm talking about. Um, episode one, premiere, episode one, and everything like that. Um, we're talking about five um, weeks of battle rappers being in the crib, contestants, all types of attitudes, all types of people, all types of attitudes, different regions, raps upon raps, having an hour to prepare to rap, five on five, this five against this five against this five, some crazier than double impact, right? And for what Hitman Holler is doing for these um, individuals and, and put a spotlight. Because let's be honest, man. If Hitman could bring in the Charlie Clips of the world, the Calicos of the world, the Easy to Blocks of the world, the Goods of the world, the Geechees of the world, you know, you, you do that. And those are big names and everything, right? All those guys have made a name for themselves. And I'm not saying the individuals that he has in, this, in, in the house are not names, but this does put them in a bigger scale because some of these individuals, I gotta be honest, I wasn't familiar with some of these names on here. You know, I'm not gonna sit in front at all, but just to hear, sir, like a guy, for, for instance, Snake Eyes. Dog, I go back to Snake Eyes when me and him used to call it Battle Rap Arena Days. Snake Eyes, when I was on Angry Fan Show, me, he used to call up Angry Fan Show up on a regular basis and everything like that. Chop it up, me, Timbo, Angry Fan, like on a regular. I remember when, when Snake Eyes was telling people he battled T-Rex back in the day and the culture was like, yo, Snake Eyes, Rex. People was front on him and everything like that. And it happened. And then he ended up being Dot Mob. And I got to be honest, Snake Eyes is having a phenomenal year. Let me just throw it out there right quick, man. I am happy for that brother because I've watched him since 2011 from being a dude that was... Loves hip hop or watches battle rap or casual fan like myself to making music on everything. Snake Eyes, you got to get back on the music, bro. Um, to that, and, and and right now, Bag and Bodies is on Midnight Madness. You know, he's had a he's had a, a dope year. You know, and once again, shout out to Hitman Holla for putting spotlight on these guys. If you want to go mid tail, I don't I only want to go there. It's just giving people. That might not have the bigger shot, a bigger light on them, and this is what Hitman is doing. And I, I salute them on there, man. You have KD on here, Mac Myron, of course, man. You know Snake Eyes, Greedy, Bad News. Shout out to Rocky. Um, was Aeon? I think Aeon pronouncing that wrong from Chicago. Uh, Shorty battling dudes, obviously Prestavia. You know, and Hitman having cats. You know, going in the back. You know, could put they putting things in a hat, and you got to go in the hat and pull out whether it's sports references or any kind of topic, and you got to write about that. You have an hour to write about the particular um, subject or topic or, or name that's in the hat, you know? And these are like, quote-unquote, drills. These are like drills, you know what I'm saying? And still sharp and still, and to see what you could come up with in an hour, you know, I guess that does sharpen up your brain to a high degree. You know, you got Cali, Cali Boy Smooth in there, you know, he had to write about the letter S. Shout out to Coach um, Corleone. Um, thank the God. You had bad news, had the, had the letter F to rap about. And I got to give, give this brother wild props, though. Bad news. Yo, he got busy. When he got to the letter F, he was getting busy and stuff, man. Um, then you got the judges in there. You got Charlie Clips, John John, DNA, um, Ill Will's in the crib, Shotgun Shug, Tay Rock's in there. You see Averb in the cut, so, man... Um, and something I noticed on like when they were bad, I'm not saying they had it's a big stage, but the how the platform is set, it's might be, it might be level like this, but it's interesting to know that you know they're battling on on the on the lower floor and the and the crowd is like almost like looking at them. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's different, like like the setting and everything like that. You know, and then you got Prestavia who who had to do some um bars on sneaker brands. And she had a freestyle and everything like that. Even Hitman had a freestyle and everything like that, you know. And what I liked, what I liked about it also is when Cats was calling out Hitman Holler, 
and stuff like that. He jumped into the cypher trying to freestyle. He jumped into battle with KD, you know? So, you know, Mac Myron, man, that, to me, he's like a machine. You know how Conway the machine? Yeah. Mac Myron is a rapping machine to me, bro. And I had to rap about sports teams and stuff. And, you know, like, it meant holler changing people's lives. You see throughout Twitter and social media within the last month before the premiere, everyone was showing love to him, man. All these guys... Or is Gwitty changing name to Gwit Man Holler? <laughs> Gwit Man Holler. That's all you need to know. You feel me? I seen a lot of a lot of those people in there being very appreciative to Hit Man Holler. You know what I'm saying? And I can understand why. Dude is putting you in a whole different light out there. You know? And if, if you want to talk about giving back, this is what Hit Man is doing. You know? Giving exposure, giving talking to his peers, you know. Who's the other person? That Fendi the God? I'm not really familiar. I know I know about Fendi. Part of me. I'm talking about the God Yachty. Wasn't familiar with that. But once again, man, shout out to Rocky Lee, Peanut, Hope Trilly, B Mac, J2, PG from Mississippi. I'm not really familiar with that brother. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think B Mac is from St. Louis. You know. And I did like what Hitman even did with KD and, and the brother um JT was it JT I think his name is when they were late. Hey man told them they got to be back from the mall, I think, at 4 o'clock. And those brothers came up extra hours and changed late. And the way Hitman, you know, he, he, he is like a boot camp almost. Cats got shook, but KD was ready for the smoke of the battle. But, you know, listen, man, it's it, it, it's dope, man. You got to watch it, man. You know? And bad news, I'm not going to lie. Every time that, that camera came on that brother, he seemed to be turned up all the time. You know? They had all this. You see all the snacks they had? Like... <laughs> That smack, you just go in and grab smack, bro. You know? And that Tom Brady line by um, Jay the God, Jay the, that guy, he had a Tom Brady line. That was crazy. That Tom Brady line he had was fire, man. And then with the highlight for me, man, was Tay Rock. And let me tell y'all why I say this. Tay, this is why Tay Rock is always going to be goaded to people, in my opinion, bro. He is never acting that like he's holier than thou. We're talking about a guy that's been rapping since he's 16 years old, right? Come there to support Hitman Hollow. Then he's getting in the trenches with these guys to do what they're doing. And he 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 was happy to do it. He said it himself. What, Tay Rock had the Mike Tyson ticket and he had a rap about Mike Tyson. And we're talking about Tay Rock just, he, didn't, he had an hour to write and he went in there dumping, you know? And he said, he, he said, and quote, I'm quoting Tay Rock, he he did it because he also wanted to challenge himself. We're talking about a guy that's goaded and still talking about challenging him, challenging himself in 2022. And of course, what's a battle rap show or reality show, <laughs> bags and bodies, without dudes almost getting a bad news and snake eyes. And we know the history already. He's like, these two, you gotta have to like, you know, and then you got Peanut. I don't know what he was doing with the one brother. Like, was he snitching on a Peanut? Was you snitching on, on 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 Buddy with females, bro? No, Peanut. I gotta get Archie Bunker. What Peanut? If that's true, brother. <clears throat> nah, we not doing that, bro. I didn't like. I didn't like that, but come on, bro. Nah, Peanut. We didn't like that, man. But I did like. Um. Also, shout out to Ill Will. I did like seeing Ill Will was in the, in the trenches also battling. Shotgun Sugar also. Shout out to those brothers. And what was interesting is when Hitman had the, the figures, 15 battle rappers in there. You got a group of five, this group of five, and this group of five. And they have an hour, I guess, to, on some double impact thing, but it's five of y'all. <laughs> you know? So it's dope, man. And Hitman Holler battling KD. KD, KD. I rock with KD, man. I think KD is, is dumb nice, man. He's dumb nice. You know, and Snake Eyes and Bad News, man, that was a that was a nice. I love this outside and everything like that. They both got busy. Snake Eyes got busy. I'm not gonna hold you. It was good. It was good. The bars that you heard from them rapping and everything, man. So this is just my my you know premiere one of Bag and Bodies, man. Of course, I'm subscribed to their channel and everything. I subscribe to the to, to Coastal and everything. And yo, this is this is a good look for battle rap, man. It's a good look for these brothers, man. As an older person, I like this. I like to see stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? We, we've never seen nothing like this. Well, we, they tried different things, Slaughterhouse. I mean, Total Slaughter. I don't know, making a band if you want to go in that bag and everything like this. 
But I think it's a little different because now we know these guys that are in there and everything like that. And we're talking about a guy who's golden like Hitman Holler, you know, and his celebrity status in the culture. He's still relevant. So it still hits hard because he's still in the culture. So tell me what y'all thought about, man. Bags and Bodies premiere one, man. It's your boy three, man. Shout out to Hitman Holler. Bags and Bodies, man. One.